Hello again. Now we're on question three of our study guide. So question three says, given two triangles, ABC and DEF, measure of angle CAB, so that's this angle right here, is congruent to the measure of angle FDE, this one right here, and the measure of CBA, this angle here, is equal to the measure of this angle here, FED. Points A, B, D, and E line on line L. Describe the sequence of rigid motions and dilations to show that ABC is similar to DEF. Sketch an image of the triangles after each transformation. That basically, it's basically asking for the same thing we did um, for part two. It's just a little bit of a different diagram. But you're going to see that it's honestly quite easy. So my first step, first step, I'm going to reflect. Now, where am I going to reflect? Well, if I think about the definition of reflection, I know that wherever my line of reflection is, all the points are going to be equally distant from the uh, line of reflection. So all the points on the pre-image are equally as far from the line of reflection as all the points on the image. I can use this to my advantage because I can say I'm going to reflect over the perpendicular bisector of BE. Why did I choose to do that? Because if the perpendicular, bi perpendicular bisector by the de definition is somewhere halfway between BE, that little line there, if you can imagine it extended, if they're halfway from each other, then that's going to map E onto B. So this now becomes E prime. And then all my other points are going to be equally as far. So point F is going to be somewhere, going to be somewhere on the line um, C E prime or C B, sorry. The reason I know that is because after the reflection, you're going to get that this angle E matches up with the angle at E prime. If they have the same angle, then you can imagine all the lines are going to have the same slope. So F is going to be somewhere over there. And a similar logic is going to work with D. Well, D is a little bit more obvious to see because D is on the line L. E is on the line L, so they're basically going to have the same uh, vertical distance away from each other. So D is going to be somewhere around there. And you can now connect your triangle just like that. And we're pretty much almost done, except all we have to do now is dilate because dilation is going to make the triangle bigger so that it's going to match perfectly up with uh, C and A. So step two, dilate. My center of dilation is going to be point E, or I should say E prime. E prime and a scale factor if you notice it's around it's around twice as big the length from e prime to f and f prime to c uh it's a little i i you know the drawing isn't perfect but 
when you take the test, I'm not going to be such a stickler about what your scale factor is. Basically, just pick a number that's greater than 1 because your triangle is getting bigger. So this is going to be F double prime. And this is going to be, this should be B prime, this is D double prime. And that gets you your final picture that shows that EFD will um, fit onto the original triangle ABC.